but I'm doing something today that's really stupid. Outfit of the day. Empty. Well, Maria has no one to go for a cab. Okay, so this is our second flight. We had one flight that went up to Bangkok. And then now we're on the next one. We've been traveling the whole day. It's gonna be like six hours. And then we'll be back to Tokyo. <laughs> There's like these people that like travel around like a lot and they don't really show how annoying airport travel is. I don't know how they get why everything's so fast, but I need some more. Alright, I'll see you in Tokyo. You don't have to be. Just put yourself in a better mood. Hello, it's Victoria Rose here. I'm doing something today that's really stupid. I don't know if this is going to turn out at all. I might not even release this video, but I'm going to have to explain myself whenever this goes awry. I'm dyeing my hair. You guys have seen me travel and going through some life changes. And I've had pink hair since you guys have known me. I've had pink hair for so long. And it's still gonna be pink because there's no covering this up. Whenever I was in Patong, I did a quick bleach bath trying to get some of the color out, but it was not having it. My natural color is kinda coming through, but this is a mess. And I feel like if I dye my hair again, it's going to break off and, like it's gonna like, like I already, like this was bleached to begin with. It was pink whenever I first got dreadlocks and it's always been pink. And there's no way that I'm getting the pink out of these dreads, okay? And I'm gonna have to put color, a darker color, over top of it. But I don't know why, I, I picked out kind of a lighter brown, so... This is gonna turn a really ugly shade of maroon purple that I hate, but... I don't know what else to do. If that doesn't work, then I'm just... I don't know. I... I need to... I need to do something different with my hair. I just feel like it's time, and if this doesn't work out, I'm gonna cut off my dreads and then put in extensions a different color because you guys have spoken and this is gonna happen so I don't have a lot of lighting I'm gonna start doing this and then I'll probably update you tomorrow on how it turns out um, I'm in Tokyo by the way I don't know if I mentioned that and this is all in Japanese so I don't know how to read the directions and I can't use this so <laughs> this is a dramatic time she cried for half an hour before doing this, just so you guys know. I didn't cry about that. She cried, been dramatic, thrown a tantrum all morning. Possibly for the past three days you've been throwing a tantrum. Some sort of weird emotional tantrum thing. I don't know. I'm really worried about like you coming out, not liking it, and then just causing havoc in my life. I might probably won't like it. I might probably won't like it. Yeah, probably won't. <laughs> so this is, um, like I said, this is Asian hair dye, so like they start from a black or darker color because most of them have black hair here. If, I didn't spend that much on this. This was, these were like six dollars each. So I'd really love to have just like this color, but that's, realistically it's not gonna turn out to be that color. And um, this is actually, my natural hair color is a bit darker than this. So this is, isn't too far off from my natural hair color. All right. I don't actually know what my natural hair color is. I haven't had it for natural for a really long time. So I guess you just mix these two, shake it up, and then use it. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to change my hair after having pink hair dye for years. So long. I don't even know how long it's been. It's been so long. You guys know? Alright, so we're going to do a quick strand test. It smells really good. 
I'll come back and just show you if anything happens with this. The consensus is just absolutely nothing to my dreadlock, but it did lighten up on the roots. So I'm still going to go for it. I'm going to kind of spread it through my dreads first and then put it in my roots, but they're so bleached. I feel like at this point, it, they're, nothing's going to like happen with them. Like They're just going to have to get cut off if I want to change the color. Because this is the one that I put it on. Nothing happened. Okay, update. So I'm really sad because this box dye isn't an actual color. It just takes the color out. Like, I guess I should have known that. But it didn't look like just bleach. Like, there's no color in this. It's just white. So really all it's doing is lightening my hair more. I'm really pissed off. All, the thing is, is that all the hair dye they had there were like this. They didn't have any that actually will dye your hair brown because everyone's hair is already brown. It is just lightening my hair more damaging it more so my next plan might just be get like a temporary hair dye okay so that that did um basically nothing it just lightened my hair a little bit more and i missed some spots it's like this color right here is kind of what i wanted for my whole head but uh, i didn't realize oh, I, missed a huge spot. I didn't realize that that was just a lightener it didn't actually deposit any color at all um i think my last option at this point <laughs> this pink hair is a curse my last option is to get a semi-permanent or temporary color and just put it over top i don't know if they have brown so i'm going to keep a lookout for that and we'll continue this hair changing journey to be continued i don't know what's going to happen with this Okay, so since the other box dye did not work, I had to resort to other methods. So I went to the store and I looked high and low to find, I was going for like a copper type of color. Cause I think that that would go over well with the pink and it just made my hair a little darker. So I was looking everywhere in um, Tokyo, just around Ikibukuro. I went to Harajuku. I went to the drugstores around Tokyo Ida and I couldn't find anything. And then um, in a store in Harajuku, I did find some temporary hair dye. And I'm like, I would really wanted demi or semi permanent. I didn't have that because it's Japan. Japan likes to be very uniform in what they have. So most people here obviously have like really dark to brown to black hair. Finding a semi-permanent brown copper color is next to impossible. This is what I got. And then I translate it up here and it says color lasts for a week. And I'm like, oh, really? It was like 10 bucks. It, it actually worked pretty well. Like it did make my hair like a nice sort of copper color, but I can feel, I can kind of still feel the, feel the hair dye in it a bit. I don't mind this color, but I still want to find something a little bit darker just to cover up my roots and blend everything all in. This has been so difficult just to dye my hair in America. It's just like, you dye your hair every, every other day, you know, it's easy. But here, the problem is, is that they put bleach in all their hair dyes because everyone already has dark hair. So every single hair dye that I picked up that was the color that would be okay had bleach in it. And I cannot put more bleach in my hair, okay? We, we, we already know that that's just not gonna work. So this has just been a, a very big fail, and yeah. I do like the color that turned out. I don't know how long it's gonna last. Apparently it's supposed to last a week, but I mean, I don't wash my dreadlocks that much, so maybe it'll last longer. I'm gonna keep this until I can find another hair dye, which who knows, it might be back when I'm in America. But it's not as big of a change as I wanted. What do you guys think? Leave a comment. Should I go a little bit darker, or should I just be happy with this? Anyways, the next video, <laughs> I've decided. I've been thinking about this for a really long time and I'll go into depth in the next video. I'm going to do it right now, but it'll be in the next video. I'm going to do something because I don't know. I don't know what's called. Maybe I'm having an um, existential crisis. Maybe I'm just really going through some changes, but um...
stay tuned for that. I love you guys very much. Uh, leave some comments of what you think I'm gonna do. You're probably right. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I will see you in the next video. Um, don't say I didn't warn you, okay? I love you very much, Dextrestro.